There's been probably at least half a dozen times when uh, I've almost clicked the give it the order and then realized, oh right, we still got the nukes in there. Speaking of nukes, how many do we have right now? We've got two nukes ready to be dropped. I don't know, there might be some uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki that might be nice tasty targets at some point. Although, well yeah, the Japanese unity is very high right now. Not much I can do about it. Okay, so they got some bombers in here. They still got at least ta this tank division. Where's the next uh, victory? Oh, Aviado is victory points. So we'll just go take that one. Uh, La Coruna is four points, and Sevilla is four. Cordoba is three, but we're about to take that one. Romania nukes itself. Whoops. <laughs> I mean, it's probably going to happen at some point, let's be honest. Let's just go. Ha there we go. Getting a lot of nice victories. Uh, so what's there? Well, that is also one point over there. Okay. Let's see. We can leave the second uh, brigade in there. We can maybe attack down this way. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that Spain is not going to be around for much longer. As an independent nation, anyway. Already, oh yeah, we were attacking there. I think we can maybe push somewhat. Well, actually no, we're already going in there with several troops. Don't need to send in more. Ah, there we go. The rockets get a bit more strategic attack, range, and range. Okay. Capital ship damage control. Right, the secret weapons are, or the rockets are now a bit ahead of time. We can cancel those ones. But that's alright. We've got quite a few research now again, since we did burn quite a few into the list, let's be honest. Oh, and what do we get? Oh, cavalry. Right, we don't have a army right now. There's the central USSR garrisons. I mean, technically speaking, what I should probably do is get a cavalry corps into Italy at some point, or various other areas, but let's go ahead and get in... Do we have a cavalry in here? We've got Ansung's... Oh, right, Ansung's army needs to be assigned as well. Or to the... set to the front line there. Uh, we could actually... set up maybe a... Oh, we've got some over there. Do we have anyone in here? We do. We've got the cavalry around that area, Novosibirsk, and... You know what, we'll put some into Irkutsk. That should be fine. It's going to be a little bit further away. And then this just needs to be assigned on the... Well, Central users are garrison is probably a bit of a lie at this point, but... You know, just spread them out a little bit. We will be getting some more garrison or cavalry as well soon enough. We don't actually have all that many troops in the production queue, although I think we do have enough to fill... Oh yeah, we got enough to fill Stuntman's army. That should be alright. And I suppose what I could do is just... For the simplicity's sake, let's just go ahead and get some more infantry. Uh, that would be 117 manpower, yeah. Well, that's going to give you another two cores for us. I'm not entirely sure what I will be using them for, but I'm sure that we'll find some use. And uh, are we, yeah, we're pushing through there. I suppose you could get in there. Right, uh, we got on another victor point. They're down to 91.4%. Should we start getting some marines? Maybe. How's the rocket range now? That is a good question. Uh, the flying rocket has a range of... Uh, 500 kilometers. So, nothing massive. It's not quite intercontinental ballistic missiles, but it's at least enough to. Well, actually, let's say we had those in Cherbourg, for example. The 500 kilometers, according to this map, would reach pretty much into the northern end of England. But yeah, I suppose we could start getting a army of marines. 
Uh, right, so let's... Uh, I don't suppose we have a... No, we don't have a template for that. So, Marine. I mean, Naval Infantry might also be okay, but is there a difference between those? Actually, Marines seem to be better in pretty much every way. I mean, they are larger. Also, they take less supplies. Oh, wow. Do take more officers and cost more to build and take a lot more time to build. Oh, right, I see where's the problem. But I think, yeah, we're going to go with the proper Marines. Let's see, so pack artillery is probably good for the amphibious assault. But in division headquarters. Infantry plus for rivers. Oh, right, yeah. Um, I have a feeling that engineer might be a good uh, unit for these. So we got the artillery. It's not necessarily the best. Let's actually have a look. Amphibious assault attack minus 26% right now. I'm sure that we can get a little bit better, is that? I think a motorcycle recon might actually be okay, or maybe we're going to even put armored car. Let's actually have a look. So if we put in that, that's 35. And with the armored car is also 35, so it doesn't have that big of an impact. So let's go with the armored car. And previous tanks, we could actually put in the special tanks. Yeah, that's true. Uh, special purpose armor. So now it's 12 and a half. Ooh. And we don't have any... I think we're just going to put in the light vehicles. I think that's going to be the best option. And previous now, minus 20% attack. But that's not too bad. We've got pretty good um, defense modifiers. And how about the... Well, the mountains attack is a little bit... But yeah, the defense modifiers are pretty good with these. So let's actually have a look at the total stats. Combat, we have two. Soft attack of 93. That's not too bad for our infant. Well, mostly infantry. I suppose there is the tanks in there. 40. Oh, we don't have a lot of piercing attack. 34 only. Hmm. Is armor engineer much worse than engineers? I mean, armor engineer is um, a lot more time required than engineers. Um, armored engineer, technically speaking, has um, a bit of armor, but as much as uh, the special armor, by the looks of it. Um, but oh, you mean for the amphibious assault? Twenty point seven. 20.7, so it's technically the same. There might be some other modifiers in there, of course. Uh, Armored Engineer does have a bit more toughness. But the fact that it takes 300 days to make one, it's just, uh, it's gotta be the bottleneck for the time of the division, and I'd rather keep the Marines as that. Plus, uh, trying to keep the division uh, slightly lighter so we can land more troops at, a town, uh, at the same time. But at least I think what I'll do, I'll... Hold on a minute, so does it... Yeah, it gets okay combine arms bonus, 129%. Hmm. I suppose what I'll do is I'll put in a core of these at least. To kind of break and open it. You know what, we'll put in two cores of these. Uh, it's for the speed. Oh, right, well that's actually a good point. Always the limiter, yeah. Uh, what about um, motorized engine? Now, that wouldn't make it any f worse in terms of speed. It would actually lower the softness a little bit. Well, actually, it would still increase from this, but like motorized engine might actually be slightly better. It has to take a bit more fuel, though, so we basically need to take a port as soon as possible. Doesn't really take that much more supply, or yeah, supply consumption isn't that much more. I'm kind of inclined to go for the motorized engineer then, just to get the extra speed in there. And the softness is now 72%. We've got air attack of uh, 9. So that's not great, but we've got 150 defensiveness, 100 and uh, 243, sorry, toughness. And 71 air defense and all that, so I think this is probably going to be our best shot right now. Unless we get some... Well, no. I don't think we do. Armored car is uh, really much required. Yeah, I think we're going to do at least core of these. You know, we're going to do two core... Oh, well, not three. Two cores of these, and then we'll put in some... Uh, kind of armored divisions, perhaps. Like one of these, for example. Or we could maybe put in some heavy armor. 
just in case. Oh, the armored support. Oh, wait, no, it's not the armored support. It's the armored engineer that is time consuming. 129% compound arms. Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, right, so over here, let's actually go ahead and put in the self propelled anti air. That's going to be fairly good. And then we can put in maybe. Ooh. Well, if it's heavy tanks already, I mean, 6 kilometers per hour speed with these even. How is the heavy assault gun? That would be 5. Could maybe put in an assault gun. Or some kind of artillery type of deal. Or maybe we could put in the self propelled art. Well, we've got all already got self propelled artillery. Hmm. We could maybe put in some uh, medium tank destroyers. Although we already got a pretty darn good uh, piercing attack from the heavy t tanks, so it's probably not required. Might be better to put in some... We could actually put in armored cars in these. Give them the extra kind of attack speed. Or movement speed. I mean, that's not actually a bad one. But the soft attack isn't necessarily the best. It's only 120 for a tank division. It's not... Have we ever used heavy assault guns? Um... I think we might have those somewhere, like one core of those or something like that. I think. I could be mistaken. I mean, technically speaking, we could put in heavy assault guns in this. It would slow it down, and it would take a massive amount of fuel. So this is basically, once we got on a bridgehead, we can bring these in, and then they'll just um, clear out. It's basically, I'm just building up the army for the marines. Or the marine army right now. So that's uh, 209 days to make this. It does take about 60 manpower and almost 400 IC. Alright, uh, well. So it'll be 145 soft attack. Only 104 combined arms, which is a bit surprising. Hold on, so what's the mixed um, or armor support? That's only 185 days. Okay, how about... Instead of the heavy assault gun, we'll put in... Armored support. So, the, yeah, the soft attack is still going to be a bit less. But the speed would be... I don't know. What other good things do we have? I don't want to put in a second tank, necessarily. We got already infantry in there. English speaking, if we were to put in a medium tank destroyer, that would get 118. Let's actually have a look. What would give us the most of these? That's 116. Uh, we could put in the motorized engineer. That's 122. Although that would increase the softness a little bit, but it could work. And we do want to have the half tracks and the division headquarters, of course. Yeah, I think the engineer is probably the best idea. I'm putting the motorized ones. Uh, the armored engineers just take way too long to build. Plus, they are quite um, intensive in terms of IC as well. Uh, there's a small bit of armor there. I mean, it does lower the softness quite a bit. But the... Well, technically speaking, the speed wouldn't be necessarily a problem. But again, the extra fuel consumption and the extra IC and the so much longer time to build. I think this is what I'm going to go. 122... Uh, percent combined arms bonus. That should be plenty. Right, well, let's get back to the warfare. Now that we've had a bit of a respite at uh, designing divisions. Our engineers are great for units with no other army. That, that's true. Uh, small warship fire control, cruiser warfare. Oh, and uh, we were under attack by some Spanish troops. Oh, and there we go. We got some more cavalry. I believe we had. The cavalry now down here. So let's go ahead and put in someone over there. Sign this and uh, the core over here. And I suppose we could set someone over there. Not going to have any supplies for a while. But I think we'll be alright. And then someone over there. Alte. Need a bit less reinforcements. Need a lot more upgrades. And then we got a few more. Oh yeah, there's the cruiser warfare that we don't need anymore. Or can't uh, really reach any further right now. At least not efficiently. Right, well, uh, so we got hostile bombing down here. Oh. Right, we don't have air support in here. That's going to be an issue. 
And they probably got the closest airfield all the way to down there. Yeah, <laughs> that's not close either. Uh, I suppose, do we? No, we don't have airfields in here. I mean, the closest thing that we have is these. They can just about reach here. Um, put an air suppressor there for both. For a little bit, so we can kind of um, shoot down the planes. They won't be doing their bombardment runs for a little bit. And that might be enough for us to keep on pushing forward. Now, where is the next picture of points? So the Oviedo is two points. Let's just have you drive into the next one. You can move into there. You can go over there. I don't think there's too much up to the north anymore. Got some mechanized troops over here that well, let's take these two up north. These two can go south. You can go over here. This nah, that's not a bad counterattack. Now the next question that I do have is can I cut off the Western Allies from here? Get to Cadiz or something like that, so that I could kind of try to keep Gibraltar as small as possible. Because we are gonna have to clear that one out at some point. Cruiser crew training and a few other things. Is there right, is this the cruiser crew, crew training that is now ahead of time? Well, that's good to know. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Oh. I suppose what I can do, I can send in two to attack the capital. Or, well, the latest of uh, in the line of capitals, I suppose I should say. So, Sevilla, uh, how is the. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's going to be a lot of shatterings. And there we go. We won the battle. I mean, we did lose about 500 men in that. But it's not too bad. Doesn't need to build some airfields. That is true. We could maybe build up an airfield over here. I mean, when I'm building airfields, I might as well build them up to the... All the way, we could build up an airfield over there for sure. And this one, just try to get a little bit more levels in. So we still got quite a bit of troops in here. It's probably, well, a large chunk of this is Mastani troops in it. Let's just send them north. Uh, we got a core over here that is now ready to move in. Uh, let's send in two down there. This one could go in here. I'm already getting someone in there, but we need to start to kind of breaking out the enemy presence in there. Uh, this is part of Mastani's core as well, so let's just go north, link up on the northeast side of the lake with the other troops, and then we've got another cavalry division that I suppose I could just move in down there. Or I sign over there. So now we've got somewhat protected supply lines, at least up to the front line. Let's, um,. Since we started uh, assigning the troops anyway, let's just go ahead and give uh, these troops some orders. So Ansang's troops can actually be in the front line. Well, I suppose on the front line, but nonetheless, you know what I mean. Uh, right, so these two can get over here. Did we still have one more? Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, there's not that many in here. Let's go ahead and leave one as a reserve. Because having a reserve unit is pretty much a must to have, but this is not all that strong. Or strongly guarded at least, so it should be fine. Right. So those are on the move. Uh Tibet has some troops on Oh, they actually have the troops more on the border. Well, actually, I don't know. Are they on my border? Well that is the first promise that they can have on my border, so maybe they are. They are attacking there. There's a garrison over here. I think we can clear that one out. Got some... Well, actually, no. We don't have anti aircraft guns in here. We might be able to break through that. Uh, right, so let's jump back to Spain. Have a look at the situation there. So we are still pushing into the city. Uh, they're trying to kind of take us out over here, but that's probably not going to work. Let's be honest. Uh, we're going to attack there. Do we have... Um, we can give a support attack into the mountains in Marbella. That is mountains, yeah, it is mountains. And then you could maybe push through. These guys are pushing into Sevilla, and we could maybe attack around to the north. 
So how's the surrender progress now? It's 93.6%. Uh, so Spain is going to be done rather soon. I think as soon as they lose this and some of the provinces in the north. Maybe that one. Which we are already going into. Combined arms coordination event. Is that ahead of time or is that the last level? No, it's neither. Well, technically it's going to be ahead of time, but in practice, not that much. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling that Spain is kind of out of manpower. At least industry to reinforce. I mean, I suppose we can have a look at the spy network in here. So they've got 20 manpower. Yeah, they're pretty much out of it then. They don't have a lot of IC. And my goodness, we've got almost 1,000 industrial capacity now. Let's just go ahead and clear out that one. There we go. I suppose I could just, just in case, push enemy a little bit more. And we're still losing lands in the northeast. <laughs> Some vicious divisions there, eh, Spain. Um, they're mostly light tank divisions. I don't... Ooh. Okay, uh, how bad is this in terms of numbers? Uh, it's actually only 42,000 against 13,000. I think we'll be able to hold them back. Especially if we could send new to maybe break down some of these. I haven't brought in anyone here yet, no. Uh, we're attacking that one. We could maybe attack over here. Just so you know, break it through. Right, so, uh, we should be pretty close to getting the punks in for ourselves. Assuming that it doesn't happen in a way that, uh, since we got the conquest and the British have the puppet thing, it might actually just puppet this for the British, which, if that's the case, I kind of hate it. Why do we have a division in... F oh, Marba... Oh, the British took that. Well, it's technically not the British, but the Allies nonetheless. Well, let's just get to Cadiz. And down there, these can keep on pushing forward. But at least we can kind of cut them out. So if they got four provinces in here, we can cut them through there, destroy that pocket, maybe let them get in land over here somewhere and cut them off over there, for example, to weaken the enemies in Gibraltar. Of course, we're not fighting them right now, but we will be fighting them eventually. Export manganese. Um, sure. Canada again. Okay. I mean, you've got all the money, I'll take it. Okay, let's see. Uh, sooner and detection equipment. Battlefield doctrine, battleship. Okay. That's a few techs. Oh, there we go. We conquered Spain. So did we... Oh, because they're covering it in exile. They only lost the European areas. Interesting. So I got these. They still hold... Some stuff over here, but I think they they were all the way down here at one point, I'm pretty sure. So they've been pushed back in the North Africa already, but like if they run out of manpower, then there's not much they can do about it. Um, right, well. Here's the next question. I mean, we don't necessarily need to reorganize the armies down here quite yet. But at some point we do need to do that. Oh, oh wow. Uh, <laughs> that's a few texts ahead of time. Let's uh, start pruning them a little bit. So there's carriers, naval doctrines, and artillery. Carriers. Naval doctrine. And artillery. There we go. Thankfully speaking, we could get the air defense network, but... I don't know. It's not really that great right now. Hopefully for the war anyway, or once we start fighting the Allies, we'll have a fair bit of planes. We probably won't have the kind of um, uh, air superiority per se, but we'll have plenty, I would say. Uh, let's go ahead and take some provinces over here, and then these two go down that way. Should be able to make quite a difference in that combat. Oh yes. There we go. Right, so now we don't need to worry about Iberia for a little bit. Uh, so we're going to focus on Siberia and China. Uh, ooh. Let's 
go send some people across there so we can encircle that one. Not going to go support attack quite yet. Not that we necessarily need it, it anyway. 